very cold to go out for a walk today and uh, take in some fresh air. The weather this week is absolutely incredible. It is taking my breath away. Um, it is extremely crisp, fresh air and the sky is blue and the sun is so strong. And I talked with Sila the other day about like missing having sunshine on your face, especially because we're wearing masks all the time and when it's cold we're wearing a, like a beanie too. So I did my best to walk around and have my mask off as much as possible. Um, of course I took it back up when there were people passing by, but it was so nice and I got to meditate and um, what a great start to the day. Uh, as you saw on my little notebook. <laughs> Still haven't really caught up on the meditating often kind of thing, but it'll come, I'm sure. Right now I'm just enjoying it as it is. But I um, I wanted to uh, talk to you about something because actually a couple of weeks ago I had filmed a video that never made it to my channel, which that, that happens quite often actually. <laughs> um, and I had filmed a video where I was trying to like live like that girl. And um, the reason why I didn't post it is because to be honest, that video made me feel like shit. Like, it made me feel like shit filming, and it made me feel like shit looking at the footage afterwards, and there was no way that I could bring myself to post a video like that. And those kind of feelings kind of got me to think about the whole term, that girl, and also to research the term a little more, and listen to people's opinions on it, and... I found a lot of people felt the same way as me, which is that that girl is just another unrealistic standard of life, but also beauty. It is an aesthetic, not at all a lifestyle. People are kind of like um, letting them lead to the belief that that girl is something that you should always strive to be because it's like, oh, healthy, uh, great set routine, um, working out, looking a certain way, taking beautiful photos. But the thing is, all of these things are just like extremely marketed for the skinny white girl and also for like people who have money just in general. And I didn't, I didn't want to be a part of that. So in this video, this will be the version of that girl in here that is trying to just live up to my own standards and to trust my own instincts and to act on some things that I have wanting to do for a long time. And um, I'm also gonna make an extra effort to really try to listen deep within. Is this that I'm doing something that I'm doing because I really need it and I feel called to do it and it brings value and love and secureness and warmth into my life? Or is it something that I'm doing because I am gonna try to like live up to a standard online or to make something look great or whatever. I think it's important that we're all aware of that. And so in this video, I'm gonna be that girl in here. And I hope that it inspires you to be that girl instead of that girl, you know? Okay, so that's what we're gonna focus on in this video. Um, I am currently awaiting Sile to come over because we are going to a hotel here in Seoul that I had no idea existed. It's called Las Capes and it's supposed to be very French, um, European old style. First, I'm starving. I really need some food. Let's go make that. might sound like a funky combination with this like yogurt 
garlic thing <laughs> with the um, carrots. It's so good. I swear you should really try to make it. Just be sure that you don't cook the carrots all the way through so they get soggy. This is um, this is a recipe that Sila taught me and it's so good. Mm. Now, that girl would probably sit and eat without watching anything. But come on. There's no fun in that. But I'm gonna watch Netflix. <laughs> I feel like I just have more joy eating like this. I do get the whole like, you gotta be mindful when eating, but honestly, that's not where I am right now. One thing at a time. <laughs> Bye, baby. A lot of fun. Thank you. Oh. We will. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have so much fun. <laughs> for having me in my house. <laughs> Welcome. How this was is, your morning? My morning has been fantastic. I woke up and I... <laughs> and I um, saw myself in the mirror and I thought, what a good day to be alive in this beautiful uh, French apartment. <laughs> <laughs> this is a beautiful house. How long have you been living here? Oops, that, there was a... Hello! <laughs> oh, uh, how long have I been living here? Um, exactly um, since the 1700s, yes. It's beautiful. Mm. Do you always sleep in two beds? Yes, it's because it's one for my body and one for my ego. Oh, I see. Yeah. You need to give that space so that it doesn't take over your daily life, you know? Oh, I'm very smart. mindful, actually. Beautiful. Cecil, let me ask you, what is something that you really appreciate in life? KKW! <laughs> <laughs> Can't live without my KKW contour. Do you sleep here? Yes. <laughs> that explains the two beds. This is this is <laughs> ego, body, soul. <laughs> the soul against the bed. I hold that up. We are um, getting ready to go down to the floor beneath us because actually we were invited here because of like a showing of some jewelry as well. So that's why I'm removing all of my jewelry so we can try it on. It's just down below. Actually, I really wanted to um, dress up in some nice dresses and such, but it's just too cold. And apparently the dinner is also going to be outside, so I'm not going to do that. But Sile, uh, yes. I was thinking that after dinner, when we come back, can we like um, put on dresses and high heels and take photos in here? <laughs> Fantastic. Mm -hmm.
ich habe nur Internet. <lacht> ja, einfach nur dann. Ey, was ist denn das Bad Eilis mit den langen Haaren, der. Good morning. Oh, I actually slept a lot better than what I would think because this place creeps me out a little bit. <laughs> but I was a little bit like the crazy yesterday evening. There were some sounds suddenly and I was like... <laughs> I was so easily scared. But um, maybe I was a little bit too hysterical. <laughs> but we didn't really like fall asleep in the most peaceful way possible because we watched the new... Um, Netflix movie that don't look up with pretty much every Hollywood actor ever um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence and Timothy Chalamet But it was so mindfuck like I mean, it wasn't mindfuck. It was just like really It promotes a lot of anxiety. I would say Sile also uh, had a little little I hate people crying session after <laughs> Oh, I loved it. But yeah, so we went to bed sad, frustrated and scared, but <laughs> we slept good. So I'm I'm up and in a good mood now. Just had a nice refreshing shower. This is the cream from Beauty of Chosun. The that's also in my box, which by the way sold out so quickly last week. I'm just insanely grateful and happy. Um I've actually never really done that before, sold out stuff, so you guys are insane. But I think that really shows um, like a deeper connection I feel like we've created the past maybe six months time. I just feel like I have a different connection with all of you watching that I had before, which I'm really, really grateful for. Yeah, of course, I'm gonna use my Synth Botanical Relief Oil. I don't know if you can see, actually, oh shoot, I'm dripping down. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, my skin has been getting so nice these days. Which is actually really atypical in this time, because I'm on my period right now, and I'm supposed to, supposed to, usually I have a little bit of troubled skin throughout my period. Hmm. Oh my god. On camera, it just looks insane. <laughs> Whoa. Hi, <laughs> Shaman Durek. And more energy is constantly coming into your body right now. Yes. Just oh. yesterday. Okay. Yes. That life has to offer comes your way. Yes. You are so beautiful, aren't you? Yes. 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 <laughs> Hell yeah. 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 Shaman Durek, if you're listening, we love you. Shaman Durek. See you in the future. That's right. I'm gonna make um, Thai curry for dinner tonight. I got this vegan Thai curry paste, green curry, which is my absolute favorite. So um, I bought a lot of vegetables because I've been also trying to make Jake eat more vegetables. He's kind of like a kid that doesn't like to eat vegetables. <laughs> he heard that, fuck. <laughs> Okay, let's get to cooking.
Prince, put up. Thanks, baby. I definitely took my sweet time in the shower today. I felt really called to um, just really be with myself a bit. Jake is still sleeping as well, so um, I had some time for myself, which is something to be cherished. I definitely think that self-care is inherently productive. And I know that this whole like that girl trend is all about productivity and to see how much you can actually get done in a day. And I get that a lot of the different practices that that girl trend does is also for the sake of your body and um, mind, like journaling or working out or eating like green smoothies and stuff like that. But I do think that there's a clear difference in intention where a lot of the that girl trend that I saw on TikTok and such was just super for for the content. For me, there is a very clear difference in the people that I'm watching online. I can very clearly see when they do something because it's truly something that brings value and love into your life, contra when it's something that is a trend or seen as productivity and seen as something that you do to look a certain way online. But with content like that, it's up to the consumer. It's up to you most of the time to determine this and to feel really truly in your stomach. How does this content make me feel when I'm consuming it? Because let's, let's face it, um, the most valuable thing in the world right now is your attention. And that's what people like me and brands and stuff are literally depending on to survive in the industry. So it's up to you to determine how certain content makes you feel. Does it make you feel bad about yourself? Does it make you feel like you have to live up to a certain standard in order to actually be truly productive or um, spiritual or something like that? Because that's not what it's about. Productivity and spiritualism and self-love and all of these things, they're all coming from inside and it's so uniquely different from human to human. And then on the other side too, content creators like me also really have to think about what we put out there. I could have just mindlessly followed this trend of that girl as I was actually gonna do and show something that I was gonna say was something that I was trying to live up to, which to be honest, when I really feel deep down, it's not something I wanna do. Like, I don't wanna wake up at 5 a.m., I wanna sleep. <laughs> I don't wanna wake up first thing in the morning and promise myself that I have to do this and this and this and that in order for it to be a productive morning, no. That's not what my life is about. And if your life is about that, then that's wonderful. And if it truly brings you joy and comfort and love and security and you feel good about yourself, then that is what you're gonna do. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my organic tea now and um, I'll catch up with you in a little while. I'm ready to head out. I am gonna take the bite to go meet Angelina. It's been forever since her and I have just been um, spending time together. So I'm really excited for that. But I am wearing close to a thousand layers of clothing right now because I don't really, I don't really have much winter winter clothes. I just have a lot of like mediocre warm clothes. So layering it is for me. Let's count together. I have a top, one. I have one cardigan. I have one other cardigan. And then I have my leather jacket and then the scarf. Obviously I'm gonna wear some gloves for the bike. And then I have uh, stolen Jake's um, kind of leggings that he used when he's out working out. Although he's a little bit scared that I'm gonna make a hole in it with my big butt because that's what I do with my sweatpants. 
But I swear it's not my butt that makes the hole. I don't know why there's a hole in all of my sweatpant butts, but maybe that's a conspiracy theory for another time. And then some warm socks and some warm pants on the outside. Let's bike! Ah, oh, Korean winter is wonderful. It's snowing like crazy. <gasps> I'm so excited to go out. Oh my god! Holy moly, guacamole! Wow! This is insane! This is so beautiful! Oh my god! <gasps> Wow, it's starting to become quiet. This is my favorite part about snow. Yeah, it kind of creates this sound bubble. Yeah, like you're in some kind of studio. Oh, this is fantastic. Wow.